you can give that silly excuse that eating healthy is expensive all you want. Okay, you can give that silly excuse all you want. Medical bills are far more expensive than eating healthy. Well, what do you expect me to eat? Whatever you feel like. I'm just telling you why you have 13 fibroids, endometriosis, ovarian cysts, high blood pressure, diabetes, arthritis, and kidney stones. That's all I'm doing. I'm telling you why you have them. I'm letting you know that your diet is one of the main reasons for the health issues you're facing. I'm not telling you to go vegan. I'm telling you that if you would like to reverse your health issue, changing your diet is where it starts. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tanya Michelle and today we are going to be talking about meat and hormonal imbalance. Particularly red meat. I had a lady told my assistant that being vegan or the healthy food was too expensive. And if you take a look at the condition she's in, it's like that's not really up for discussion. You can't even have a surgery performed. You're in a condition where a surgical procedure cannot be performed on you. So the only thing left for you to do is change your diet so that your body can then begin to heal itself. But no, eating healthy is too expensive. But let's get into how the meat contributes to hormonal imbalance. Now keep in mind, hormones are chemical messages that tells your body what to do. Hormones tell your body what to do. Now there is a reason you can do things in fear that you can't do otherwise. There is a reason it's easier to jump on the roof of a car with being chased by a dog than it is to do on a regular basis without continuous practice. The reason for this is adrenaline. Now this is a hormone that triggers your body's fight or flight response. It causes your heart rate to increase your pupils to enlarge. It also causes the air passages of the lungs to dilate and redirect blood flow to give your muscles the oxygen they need to either fight or flight. All of this is happening and you think you're just running. You have no idea what's really happening below the surface just for your survival. And yet you find it so hard to change your diet when being told that that's the condition you're in because you don't understand what the food that you're consuming is doing below the surface. If there was a mirror for the inside, we won't do half the things we do and we won't eat half the things we eat. But now let's get into how the meat is contributing to hormonal imbalance. Follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Now these hormones are naturally produced in animals. These hormones are also naturally produced in so if you're consuming the hormones from an animal that you also naturally produce, you now have an imbalance of these hormones. But wait, there's more. There are hormones also injected into these animals so that these animals can do things that they're not born to do. Xerenol. Melangesterol acetate and then trenbolone acetate so that they can produce faster, produce in larger quantities, and so that they can be much bigger. Okay, so that you can have enough meat to eat. So now, not only does the animal contain hormones that's been naturally produced, but now they've also been injected with hormones.
According to Science Direct, Xeranol has been widely adopted as a growth stimulant with estrogenic activity and is also employed to reduce stress in cattle, for which its application has been banned in the European Union since 1985, although it is allowed in the United States and Australia. BCWP says it mimics the natural estrogen estradiol. Both compounds can stimulate growth and proliferation of human breast tumor cells in vitro and potencies similar to the effects of estradiol. Xeranol mimics estrogen, which therefore means now you have a double dose of estrogen. And on top of that, estrogen is naturally produced in your body. Now when there is too much estrogen inside of the body, it causes breast cysts, fibroids, endometriosis, ovarian cysts, breast cancer, and other forms of cancer. Estrogen is a growth hormone. So can you imagine consuming the growth hormone of a cow? Okay. Now let's get into melangesterol acetate. Melangesterol is progestin. It's a synthetic version of the hormone progesterone. According to Mayo Clinic, progestin used in high doses sometimes cause some unwanted effects such as blood clots, heart attacks, strokes, or other problems of the liver and eyes. The progesterone is responsible for testosterone, bone mass, and other male characters, and for women, ovulation, pregnancy, and the menstrual cycle. So not only, again, is does your body naturally produce progesterone, you're consuming that of a cow, also consuming the synthetic version of the same hormones that your body naturally produces. So it's altering the way the body naturally functions. This is why a lot of women have fibroids. This is why the cancer rate is so high because you're consuming hormones. Again, hormones tell your body what to do. So the last thing you want to consume is hormones, especially that of an animal. Now let's get into trenbolone acetate. This is what gives muscles to the cow. The side effects of trenbolone acetate includes symptoms of masculinization like acne, increased body hair growth, scalp hair loss, voice changes, and increased sexual desires. So this hormone mimics testosterone. This is why a lot of you women have facial hair. Because you're consuming testosterone, which is a male, hormone. Now, females have testosterone, but the levels are extremely low. When you consume too much testosterone, you're going to have male features because you're consuming a male hormone. And again, hormones tell your body what to do. But wait, there's more. They crossbreed these animals. They impregnate a cow from different animals. You don't really even know what these animals are being crossbred with. Honestly, beef, according to studies, has been crossbred with a cow and a buffalo. This is where you get beef. So a lot of people like ground beef and all of these other form of beef. So not only are you consuming the hormones from a cow, you're also consuming the hormones from the next animal that this cow has been crossbred with. There's more. Adrenaline. We spoke about this earlier. Because adrenaline is a natural response to fear. So, in the midst of these animals about to be slaughtered, this hormone is released. So, in order for that adrenaline to come out of your body, you have to actually get physical. So, you have to exercise to get that out of your body. Other than that, it's going to find somewhere else to go. Once this hormone is released, the animal then dies, which therefore means the hormone is still in that animal. 
then you consume said animal. And now you're stressed out, you're depressed, you're having anxiety, and you don't know why. It's because you're consuming stress. And now you're stressed. It's much deeper than just eating something. You're consuming the adrenaline from that animal. So not only are you consuming the animal's naturally produced hormones, but you're also consuming the hormones injected into that animal. Not only that, before that animal dies, it produces other hormones, okay? It produces other hormones. Then you consume that animal and you're wondering why you have hormonal imbalance. As long as you're consuming hormones, you're going to always have hormonal imbalance. And the side effect of hormonal imbalance, cancer, diabetes, reproductive issues, and the list goes on. You can't escape it consuming hormones because again, hormones tell your body what to do. Your body now has to produce more hormones to break down this meat. This is why most of you get the itis because this is what your body has to break down so it just shuts down. This is what we call food.